Now, Eric had created this a while back, and this is what we were saying, like, we need a movement around this. Money, corruption, demand, solutions. MCDS, money, big money runs everything in Washington, D.C. The answer to all why questions in politics is the same. Why are Democrats are so weak? Why are Republicans so vicious? It's because they're paid to be that way. Corruption. Our so-called representatives do not represent us. They represent the billionaires, banks, and mega corporations. They must be called out relentlessly as they are corrupt. Demands. Having a clear list of demands is crucial and fixing big money in politics and government needs to be at the top. And then we'll get to 11 demands for real democracy. And then finally, solutions. Flowing from demands are the solutions. A movement has to be about more than just pointing out all the problems we face. It needs to provide a vision of a better world and a path to reaching it. So we look at the demands. 11 demands for real democracy. The number one thing is fix big money in politics and government. This is what I was telling Dr. West as well. Until you fix this, you are not going to change the political system that we have in this country, which is inherently corrupt and it's corrupt because you have corporate money and the military industrial complex and Wall Street, they all bought into the political system. Two, and I could put this in the chat so you guys can look at this on your own time as well. Healthcare for all. Now, Eric goes further and says, implement a U.S. national health care system, which is actually better than Medicare for all. That's closer to what they have in the U.K. Three, a minimum standard of living for everyone. Everyone. Four, end the wars. End the wars, all of them. Disband NATO. These things are important. Five, Reject censorship. Look at where we are now with people being deplatformed. Gotta reject the censorship. Six, racial and criminal justice reform. This includes providing reparations for ADOS. This includes ends mass incarceration and address the root cause of crime, which is poverty. Seven, respond to the climate emergency implement a non-corporate Green New Deal program. Eight, immigration reform, abolish ICE. Notice you don't really hear the squad members talk about this much anymore. Notice you don't hear them say abolish ICE much anymore. Nine, an election system we can trust. This includes ranked choice voting or star voting systems. 10, Revamp taxation and funding. Abolish all taxes except for highly progressive income tax, wealth tax, and taxes on large corporations. This also includes established public banks. And last but not least, 11. Democratize the enterprise. Provide federal funds and incentives for employee-owned and control businesses. Enforce antitrust laws. That's important. We just talked about the story with Ice Cube and the NBA investigation. The NBA is violating antitrust laws. We don't have that much in place to make sure these things don't happen or that these companies are held accountable after doing that. So these things are important. And this is why we're saying sharing this is because, and I'll put this in the chat as well, is because if we had a movement around these issues in particular, then we may be able to see some type of change in the political system. But the, the reality is, if we don't have public financing of elections, these PACs, like APAC, the PAC Reed Hoffman is trying to start, this isn't going to go away. This issue will always be present. So that's important. That's important. 